Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another hashtag Spider-Man Sunday and Forgotten Spider-Man Rogues episode, and I hope you enjoy. Cardiac is a forgotten Spider-Man foe. Well, maybe he's more of an anti-rogue, but importantly to you all now, it's rumored that he will be in the next Spider-Man video game, and this video getting an idea on who he is is useful. Cardiac first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 344, and then was in issue 345. One night, a new character calling himself Cardiac busts through a wall of a warehouse, bullets just bounce off him, and the guards give him no problem. That's when Spider-Man intervenes. At first, Cardiac is delighted to see a fellow crime fighter, but when Spider-Man tries to stop him from committing any more chaos there, Cardiac fights him and escapes. Cardiac's real name is Elias Wortham, a physician. He considers the implications of being Cardiac due to his Hippocratic Oath as a physician, but decides to keep going. Later, Cardiac is attacking another warehouse which has dangerous chemicals he is going to destroy, where he runs into the Spider-Man villain Rhino. Cardiac and Spider-Man team up to stop the Rhino, but when Spidey gets knocked down during the fight, Cardiac takes the opportunity to destroy all those chemicals. Cardiac is a vigilante, more of an anti-hero or anti-rogue, who is doing this to help fix his city. He owns his own hospital, has a great job, and we still don't know why he does this stuff. Personally, Cardiac has technology that keeps him alive, but also gives him superpowers. Anyway, he gets attacked from Spider-Man again, but escapes until next time. Next, he was in issues 359 and 360. Cardiac breaks into a man named Buchner, saying he needs to pay for his greed. Spider-Man stops him from committing murder, and then the two fight. We get to learn of his whole origin here. He's driven by his brother's death to research life-saving medical practices. His brother Joshua's death was the result of corporate greed, who had a cure for his condition ready, but did not distribute the medicine due to it not being profitable time for them. Hence his motivation against corporations. As a part of his research, Elias repairs his heart with a beta particle reactor, which supplies energy throughout his body in addition to a vibranium weave mesh under his skin. This energy gives him superpowers, and he adopts the moniker Cardiac in reference to it. Cardiac completes his glow at the end, but leaves, and Spider-Man left wondering until next appearance. Which was, with two other forgotten Spider-Man foes in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 376 and 377. While Spider-Man is fighting sticks and stone, Cardiac arrives, but before he can join the battle, he spots a man abusing his ex-girlfriend on the street and leaps down to stop it. Cardiac returns and tells Stone that with his mind and medical technology, he can cure the maniac sticks. What he doesn't say is that he is going to kill Sticks, and Spider-Man stops him. Again, the two fight, and Cardiac flies away. His next big story was in Web of Spider-Man issue 107 and 108. Cardiac is here to stop a shipment of drugs. But then, surprisingly, the villain Scorpion shows up, and the two rogues fight. Scorpion is guarding the drugs and almost beats Cardiac, but ultimately fails, and Cardiac seemingly murders the man in charge, but he obviously doesn't because of the very end panel and next story, and that's how the story ends. Next, Cardiac was in another short story in Amazing Spider-Man issue 388. Cardiac and another forgotten Spider-Man rogue Chance are after the same guy tonight. An experimental dangerous project athletes are using is on the market because of this guy, and that sends Cardiac after him. Cardiac tries to reason with Chance that he doesn't have to commit murder to stop the tech, but Chance doesn't think so, and the two fight. Cardiac sorta accidentally erases the man's memory and stops the tech, a questionable victory. Then, he retired being a superpowered character and was just known as Dr. Witham, which was in the series Nightwatch, specifically issues 3 through 12, but that's another video, so just for knowledge I mentioned them. Cardiac was in Black Cat solo series in 1994, in issues 1 through 3 of Felicia Hardy the Black Cat. The whole series opens with Spider-Man stopping Cardiac. Spider-Man and Black Cat fight him, but Cardiac escapes again like he does. He, does he ever go to jail? Then he returns just to fight the Black Cat. But first, Black Cat and Cardiac team up to fight these guys called Project First Strike. But anyway, Cardiac has his own reason to stop this and works with her. Cardiac leaves to let the people they fought die. He left to actually save the innocents in the building. That was the last of Cardiac for a long, long time. Yep, he disappeared for a while, only in smaller easter eggs, until June 2013 in Superior Spider-Man issues 7 through 8. Here we see Dr. Witham report reopening the homeless shelter Feast, still the owner of the hospital heart clinic. One of Cardiac's secret patients needs help, and he will get her it. Cardiac has broken into the Boneyard, a factory where the police keep superpowered items from fights, and the superior Spider-Man, aka Otto Octavius, starts to fight Cardiac who has broken in. 
Superior Spider-Man is dealing with this guy's if he were Carnage or Doctor Doom, but as we know, Cardiac has a pretty good reason for committing his crimes. Cardiac is stealing the neuronic scanner that Otto once used to create his mechanical arms so he could control them with his mind. Superior Spider-Man gets distracted again and it takes Cardiac everything he has to get away, but not without a spider tracer on him. Cardiac stole the tech, a helmet, to find out what's wrong with this sick little girl. Superior Spider-Man traced Cardiac down because he also needs that helmet now. Cardiac explains he needs the helmet to cure the girl after Dr. Octopus's plan during Ends of the Earth seriously endangered her after a car crash that killed both her parents. At the end, Spider-Man helps save the little girl's life, and they sort of form a pretty good friendship at the end. And this was also the very last of Cardiac today. Cardiac is a very interesting character, and for a forgotten rogue, he made the perfect amount of appearances. If he's in the next Spider-Man game as an actual character, and not just another easter egg, that would be more than perfect. I find his origin great, and his costume and power super unique. So, that was all about Cardiac, who I call an anti-rogue, who is about hospitals. Anyway, I plan for more unique videos like this to come out on Spider-Man Sundays now. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good day.